Good morning. Jerome Ferris here, and this is The Gift Podcast. Today's word. Don't give up, give in, or give out. Coming out of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8, which says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. One of the tools of the enemy, of Satan, is to discourage us from seeking God. To believe that God does not care, that God will not be there for us. When we call on him and we ask of him, when we seek his help, and God might choose to delay in his response to us. In this passage, we find the words of Jesus, who tells us to be persistent in pursuing God. Again, people often give up. We we give up after a few half-hearted efforts and conclude that God cannot be found. But knowing God takes faith. And and knowing him takes focus and follow through. And, And Jesus assures us here in this word today, that our efforts will be rewarded. So I want to encourage you today. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. Don't give in to the discouragement that the the enemy would want you to have. The unbelief that God does not care and will not be there for you. And, And then don't give out. Continue to ask of God. What can I ask God for? You can ask God for more uh, knowledge, for more patience, more wisdom, more love, and more understanding. And my beloved, God is true to his word. For he says again that for everyone that ask will receive. Everyone that seeketh will find. And everyone that knocketh, the door will be opened. Trust God today. Believe that what he says he'll do, he will do. Now the key, the key that we must always remember is that God's ways are not our ways. And God's timing is not our timing. He will come through for you. We must trust him. So once again, don't give in. Don't give up. And don't give out. But believe that God is able. Our prayer. Father God in heaven, this morning we praise you, O God. We thank you again for this, another day that you have made. And Lord, we we just come this morning, Lord, um, just praising you for your grace, your mercy, for your love, for your faithfulness towards us. We thank you, O God, for, Lord, life and it more abundantly. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, for your love. We thank you for... Uh, Lord, salvation that was made possible through your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just know this morning from your word that we can ask of you. We can ask anything of you, Lord. And Lord, according to your will, you will grant us. So, Father, we praise you today. We know that, Lord, you will not withhold any good thing from your children. And so, Lord, we praise you today. We thank you once again. Bless, Lord, your word. Bless the hearers of your word this morning. And may all that we do, may all that is accomplished this day, 
bring glory to you. This is our prayer, and it is. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's Monday, and the Lord hath been good to us. We look forward to uh, another week of uh, God's presence and his word. We thank you once again for being our friends and our partners of this ministry. Please share this word with someone today. The Lord's will will be back on tomorrow with another word from the Lord. Remember, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.